Hello friends and welcome to JMeter community. In our last video, we discussed on how to transfer values in and out of bean shell sampler, preprocessor and postprocessor. In this video, we will discuss on how to transfer values in and out of files in the local system using bean shell sampler, preprocessor and postprocessor. To transfer values inside the file. Or to basically say reading from a file, we already have CSV data set config, but to use from bean shell. We can use a small function called string from file inside the function dialog box. You can enter the path which is compulsory, while all other are optional. And click on generate. You can also write regular Java or bean shell code for input, but, in regular code, the sequence won't be maintained. So every time, you try to open the file, the first value, will be read. But in string from file, the sequence is maintained. For first iteration, the first value is picked. And, for second iteration, the second value is picked. And so on. Let us test it. We have this file which contains many line items. Now let us run the script in a loop of 6. Adding the view result tree and running it, we can see how every time a new line item is picked from the file. In this way, the values can be picked by bean shell sequentially. If you want to pick all the values at the same time, or, in other words, you want to read the entire file at one go, then you need to write a script for it. Here I have the script for picking up the data from the file. There is a buffered reader which will open the file mentioned in the path. There is a counter, which will indicate, which line is to be read. And there is a variable named content where I will save the contents, of the file. The initial value of counter is 1. And the content will store the value in first line. A loop will run which will put the values inside next line. And the loop will keep on running, till next line finds null. Which means the end of file. Inside the loop, the next line value will be added to the content, in a new line. In the end, we will send the value outside this bean shell. We will now run the script and see that all the values inside the file is now visible in JMeter. With that we can end our video here. In our next video, we will talk about how to write the values in a file. See you then.